Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another historic deck and we've got a pretty fun combo deck in store titled Omni Flood. It's an Omniscience Flood of Tears combo deck and it is a deck that we featured in the past in Standard but uh, this time we have a much cleaner win condition that's not as tedious as the previous one where we had to slowly draw our entire deck one by one until we drew our entire deck and won the game with uh, Jace Wielder of Mysteries. Instead now we have Fae of Wishes to grab all sorts of win conditions out of the sideboard and we've got a very fun combo kill that I'll explain in just a second. So first off let's take a look at the core of the deck. We're a Flood of Tears Omniscience combo deck. Flood of Tears a 6 mana sorcery returning all non-land permanents to their owner's hands and if we return 4 or more non-token permanents we control this way we can put a permanent card from our hand onto the battlefield without paying its mana cost. So the goal of the deck is to cast Flood of Tears returning 4 of those non-token non-land permanents back to our hand and then cheat a copy of Omniscience into play for free. Omniscience normally a 10 mana enchantment saying we can cast spells from our hands without paying their mana cost. So a very powerful effect that in this deck can lead to a win on the spot essentially. So once we get our copy of Omniscience in play, thanks to our 6 mana Flood of Tears, then we can cast a Fae of Wishes using the Granted Adventure. And of course if Fae of Wishes was one of the permanents we had in play to contribute towards the 4 permanents for Flood of Tears, now we have it back in our hand where we can use the Granted Adventure instead of having to cast the Creature Half, which also combos quite nicely in the deck. And then with our Granted Adventure, we can search up a copy of Mastermind's Acquisition out of the sideboard. Mastermind's Acquisition lets us search a card from the main deck or sideboard. So we're going to use the first copy of Mastermind's Acquisition to search up a second copy of Mastermind's Acquisition out of the sideboard. Now with our second Mastermind's Acquisition, we're going to search for yet another card out of the sideboard. This time it's going to be Scholar of the Ages as a 7 mana 3-3 that when it enters a battlefield returns up to two target instant and or sorcery cards from our great graveyard to our hand, so we return both of the copies of Mastermind's Acquisition that we just cast. Now with essentially our third copy of Mastermind's Acquisition, we're going to grab a copy of Thousand Year Storm out of the sideboard, the six man enchantment that says whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell we've cast before it this turn, and we can choose new targets for those copies. So we've already cast our fair share of instants and sorceries this turn with all those copies of Mastermind's Acquisition, and presumably Flood of Tears as well. So our Storm count is already pretty high, so now when we cast the final copy of Mastermind's Acquisition from our hand, we can essentially search up whatever instants and sorceries we have left in our sideboard, since our storm count is going to be so high. And one of those cards can be Inescapable Blaze, which deals 6 damage to any target. And if we double it 4 or 5 times, that's usually going to be enough to burn out the opponent. But we can also keep going, since one of the cards in the sideboard is Unsummon, which we can use to bounce or. Scholar of the Ages back to our hand, so we can grab back additional copies of Mastermind's Acquisition and essentially get whatever cards we have left in the sideboard or in the main deck. And uh, with all those cards, we should be able to piece together a win. And one of the cards in the sideboard is also Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, a card that we can search up with Fae of Wishes, which only lets us search for non-creature cards, but we can search it up with the Mastermind's Acquisition, and then we can cast Ulamog, exiling two of the opponent's permanents, maybe get rid of two of their lands, and then with the Scholar of the Ages, looping back on summon. We can also keep bouncing our own Ulamog, exiling the opponent's stuff. So that's one way to potentially win the game as well. We've got Ruinous Ultimatum to wipe the opponent's board, Plain White Celebration to get any cards out of the graveyard back to our hand potentially, or maybe just gain some life or make some tokens. Can basically do whatever we want. And then in the sideboard you'll notice a few cheaper cards that are mostly meant to search up with the Fae of Wishes during the game before we necessarily have Omniscience in play, and we'll get to those in just a second. So we've got a pretty fun combo kill here with Fae of Wishes and Thousand Year Storm, and most of my opponents have let me combo off and actually kill them with the Thousand Year Storm and Inescapable Blaze, since they're pretty curious to find out how we're gonna win the game eventually, whereas some of the previous builds where you had to draw your entire deck, the opponent might be checked out before you actually kill them, so it also makes it uh, more interesting for the opponent. And then taking a look at the rest of the deck, of course we need to get those four non-lands, non-token permanents in play to combo with our Flood of Tears. So that's where our Boreal Gracer comes in handy as a one mana card to help us ramp, put an extra land in play, and provide a body to protect our Planeswalkers, as well as counting towards Flood of Tears. 
then at 2 mana we've got both Mindstone and Woolful Haven to help us ramp and provide an extra non-token permanent for Flood of Tears. I've built a deck without any actual mana creatures like Lanoran Elves, despite being a very good card and helping us ramp. It is also very susceptible to removal, and as a combo deck the last thing we want is our opponent being able to interact with our deck easily, and the creatures are pretty easy to interact with. So we're not playing Lanoran Elves, we're not playing the package with Risen Reef and uh, other elementals like Leaf Kindred, which is another way to potentially build this deck. Instead I opted for these artifacts and enchantments to help us ramp, which are much more difficult to interact with for the opponent. We also have the full playset of Omen of the Sea, providing a bit of card selection to help us find all the missing combo pieces while putting an extra enchantment in play for Flood of Tears. And then we've got our four copies of Fae of Wishes, which does a lot of work in this deck. We can easily just run it out there as a 2 mana 1-4 creature to help us protect our life total, protect our planeswalkers, and count as a cheap permanent for Flood of Tears purposes. We can also just use the Granted Adventure first to maybe get a cheap sideboard card. And as you'll see, we've got some nice cheap options. Unsummon to bounce a creature, we've got some Graveyard Hate with Gravedigger's Cage and Lantern. Negate as a counterspell, and then especially Root Snare is an important one in creature matchups as we can prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn, and we even have Tamyo that can return Root Snare from the graveyard, so we can use it multiple times while setting up, since it's only a 2 mana investment to cast Root Snare, we can still use the rest of our mana to keep setting up and uh, drawing towards the combo until we're ready to go off. So Fae of Wishes getting Root Snare a very important part of this deck's game plan as well. And then of course eventually Fae of Wishes will search up the combo pieces as we explained earlier. Then we've got Gift of Paradise as another way of a ramping and also gains 3 life when it enters the battlefield. So it helps us survive a little bit longer against those aggressive decks. And then the last card we haven't covered yet is Tamyo, Collector of Tales, which is also very nice at uh, finding the missing combo pieces with the plus one ability, where we can name Omniscience or Flood of Tears and then look at the top four cards, and if the revealed card is within those four, we can put it in our hand and then the rest goes in our graveyard, where we can maybe return cards with Tamyo's minus three ability as well. And as we mentioned, getting back Root Snare from the graveyard after we search it up with Fae of Wishes can also be important against creature decks. And the static ability to prevent discard and sacrifice can also come up, but Tamyo can also be a combo piece if we don't have our Fae of Wishes yet, since we can use Tamyo's minus three to return Flood of Tears from the graveyard back to our hand. And then if we have a copy of Omen of the Sea, we can draw additional cards, use the Flood of Tears to put the Omen of the Sea back into our hand, replay Omniscience, and then we can essentially do the same loop over and over again while getting ahead of cards with the Omen of the Sea until we find a Fae of Wishes which can get a card out of the sideboard to eventually close out a game. So Tamyo is useful there as well. Another Planeswalker we could consider is Narset Parter Veils, since she can help us find the missing combo pieces like Flood of Tears and Omniscience, and potentially counts as an extra permanent to pick back up with Flood of Tears. Although Narset does tend to die to creatures pretty often, and doesn't have as much loyalty as Tamyo to survive. So uh, I ended up not including Narset in this build, but definitely a consideration. And then uh, the mana base, pretty simple, 6 islands, 10 forest for breeding pool for Hinterland Harbor, and 2 temple of mystery for the additional scry. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play, this hand would be decent if we had green mana, which we don't. Although I do have Omen of the Sea to maybe find it. Although then it might end up being a little bit slow. Yeah, let's take a mulligan. This is better. What do I keep? I like Grazer. Although maybe I can't afford to keep Grazer when we are still missing any additional uh, combo pieces. So I probably need Omen to help me find them. Sure. And I'll just play Temple turn one. Yep, yeah, Omniscience is fine. So then we're mostly looking for Flood of Tears once we have Omniscience and maybe some Ramp. And Johnny's welcome, so a life gain deck. Orator is fine. Alright, I don't think I can afford to keep lands here. Just gotta dig for a flood of tears. Gift is fine. Probably play that for now. Could also wait until next turn, so I can use the mana from Gift right away. But this works out 
Don't really want to sack our omens to scry since we need them for Flood of Tears. Soul Warden. So our opponent's not hitting us too hard yet. Although Sarah Sandant could definitely change that in a hurry. Tamio. Okay, so could Tamio naming Flood of Tears and then um, she might still be around next turn. Let's try it. Alright, there we go. Two copies of Flood of Tears in hand. So... Now it's just about getting those four permanents in play. Just casting the Flood of Tears to bounce all the opponent's creatures back could also be okay to just buy a bit of time. But uh, I think we'll be able to set up the actual combo. Alright, Heliot means time you probably dies here. Opponent up to 29, so Sarah Ascendant almost gets the uh, plus 5 plus 5 here. So we're at 18, time you down, and our opponent's got quite a board presence all of a sudden. So let's see, can I afford to not cast Flood of Tears here? 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm basically chum blocking with the Fae of Wishes. Yeah, that's not great for me. I think I will have to cast uh, Flood of Tears here. Now Sarah Ascendant is still a 1 mana 6-6, six, six, so it's pretty cheap for them to replay. But in the meantime, we can gain some more life from the Gift of Paradise. It's gonna be double Soul Warden. Alright, so... Can go Gifts. And then double omen. If we find a land here. Yeah, I'll take uh, harbor and then mindstone seems fine too next turn. So I'll pass. And then our second omen will be permanent number three. And Mindstone will be permanent number four, and then we should have it. So I'll take nine. There's Omniscience, and there's Fail of Wishes. I get my Acquisition, make sure not to misclick here since there's a lot of modes on Acquisition. Get my Scholar. Get my thousand year storm. This is my favorite part. And then we'll start getting some wind conditions here. Now you can't blame me for wanting to cast this Ulamog first, but uh, then we'll cast Blaze to hopefully finish off our opponent, and if it's not enough, 
I can unsummon back Scholar, pick up my Blaze again, and that should do it. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a pretty good hands. Turn one Grazer, turn two can play Gifts. And then Samyo and Omen for more card selection to help us find Flood of Tears and Omniscience. Uh, let's see what we're up against. Could also go Haven plus Omen here. I guess that's maybe a little better. Fenlurker, so let's Omen first to have a better idea what to discard. Another Omen and Mindstone. Don't think I need Mindstone at this point. So I can get rid of Gift and keep Omen. Sure. Land is not bad. And then I think I'll go for Flood of Tears first. Let us have a story to the library. All right, we hit the jackpot. So now time you protects from additional discards. Now Fenlurker exiles and doesn't actually discard, so that still works. And then we're just missing omniscience. And then if Tamiya survives, plus the Omen of the Sea and Flood of Tears, we'll eventually find Fae of Wishes to win the game. Opponent does nothing. Alright, let's uh, name Omniscience. No Omniscience in the graveyard, just double checking. I think you will find my notes helpful. Can maybe grab that Fae of Wishes later. Uh, let's main phase Omen, in case we find some cards we want to cast this turn. There's Omniscience. So I could keep it on top of my deck to protect from maybe Exile based the discard. Sure, and then just draw the Breeding Pool. Because we do have two Flood of Tears, so one... Flood of Tears gone, doesn't prevent the combo. And we've got the four permanents required. Obliterator, that's okay. So we should have it here. I guess I can plus first with Tamyo looking for Fae of Wishes, or I guess there's one in the graveyard, so that makes it easy. Get back Fae of Wishes, cast Flood of Tears, put in Omniscience. And then we've got the combo kill here. Can acquisition. Get second acquisition. I'm probably going to end up casting Thousand Year Storm in this uh, gameplay more often than I did in the actual Thousand Year Storm video. Summon... Blaze. I usually try and get Blaze as my last card so they don't concede right away. Because they might not know what my win condition is. Alright. And Blaze should do it here. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, facing a Yorion Sky Nomad deck, so if this is Field of the Dead, that's usually a pretty good matchup. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand, 
it's not perfect. Two Flood of Tears is a bit redundant. But uh, it's half of our combo, and then Omen can help me find some more combo pieces, hopefully. Is it Guildgate? So probably a Golos uh, Field of the Dead deck. With maybe Mace's End as an extra win condition. I guess I can fail wishes for some card draw here. I put one copy of Drawn from Dreams in the uh, deck for this occasion. Could also actually get Mastermind's Acquisition since we have Gift of Paradise to make black and just get the Omniscience that way. Could also work. I'll just get a Drawn from Dreams. That way we keep the double acquisition in the sideboard to make it easier to combo kill. Although I'm sure there's other ways we could do it. Second so dreams. And there's omniscience. And I guess I'll get another fail wishes. Time could also work. And we've got our four permanents required, so next turn we should have it. Opponent definitely pretty heavy on the gates, so Mesa's End seems like a likely inclusion in their deck. Already up to seven gates. Alright, let's Flood of Tears. The combo kill is definitely customizable, so if you're getting bored of killing people with an escapable blaze, you can probably figure out some other way of doing it. And there we go. Sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with the fine hands. Let's see what we're up against. Alright, the Tempered Steel deck. Definitely a matchup where we might end up getting a Root Snare with the Fae of Wishes. Let's see if they have the turn to Steel Overseer. Yep, there it is. So they have a good start. So what do I want to do this turn? Could already get Root Snare here, or I can just go Gift plus Haven. Keep developing my mana for the time being. And then next turn I have the option of Fey for Root Snare or maybe for Card Draw since we're still missing both combo pieces. So I might have to get Drawn from Dreams instead here. So we have a lot of mana. 
But if they slam down a Tempered Steel, I could be taking a lot of damage pretty quickly. It's gonna be a Stone Call for three instead. So I'm taking just two damage. But next turn, that's gonna be a lot more. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to get Root Snare. So let's just get Drawn from Dreams and then cast a Fae. I could technically also get removal for uh, Steel Overseer. I get an Unsummon here, bounce it. But again, we still need to find all the combo pieces to actually win the game. of Wishes can prevent a bit of damage, maybe. And also counts as a fourth permanent for Flood of Tears if we find it. Ah, there's a Tempered Steel. So this is an attack for 15. I guess I'll take it. All right, so what are my options? I have how much mana? Eight mana available. So if I draw from dreams, there's not much I can do afterwards. Whereas if I bounce back Fae of Wishes, I can still get my Root Snare and cast Root Snare, so that's probably what I should do here. I could attack for one first, but there's no real points. Discard those two. And then grant it for Root Snare. And then we're hoping to find Tamyo to loop back Root Snare. Or just uh, Flood of Tears, I guess. Although it wouldn't be for the combo kill yet. Cast a Root Snare here to save everyone some time. And there's Tamiyo, perfect. So Tamiyo can get back Root Snare. And that buys us another turn. The moon looks intriguing tonight. And we'll have a Tamiyo in play. The past is never forgotten. Could have cast the Fae of Wishes, not sure if that was needed. I guess casting Fae of Wishes was probably still the play there. Uh, that's Root Snare. Maybe our opponent respected a Settled or Wreckage there, which we can technically cast with Gift, but I guess in your hands was drawn from Dreams and Root Snare, so... Alright, so now Tamiyo needs to deliver the goods. So, plus naming Flood of Tears. Mills Omniscience. Yeah. Might be in trouble here. I can draw from Dreams. But with four mana remaining, there's not much I can do. Yeah, I think we're dead. Doesn't hurt to double check. So there was my Flood of Tears. Tam, you could minus on... Root Snare, but I don't have the mana to cast it this turn, since we missed a couple uh, land drops here. 
Gift is not going to gain enough life to survive. Yeah, we're dead. Still pretty close game. Maybe your opponent respects Saddle, but I guess I don't have Gift up since I needed Gift for blue mana. So there's nothing I can bluff. Alright, GG's. Alright, we're on the play with uh, fine opening hands. Haven for a bit of ramp, Omen of the Sea to help find our Flood of Tears. Let's see what we're up against. Elvish Reclaimer, so some sort of land slash graveyard deck. So I could already play Tamio, but I think I'd rather go Haven plus Omens this turn. Could Omen main phase in case I draw, I don't know, Arboreal Grazer, maybe I want to play it. Bottom both of those. So next turn I could time you and I'm plus naming Flood of Tears. Although the Reclaimers could already turn into three fours, which means my time you is probably not long for this world. Can cast Omen first, I suppose. Alright, so we have a lot of looks at a Flood of Tears. Now my opponent does have the potential of maybe getting Bozhuka Bog with their Reclaimers to potentially exile my graveyard. Which can be relevant if I want to minus time on something. But otherwise we don't really rely on the graveyard too much. So this probably gets a Fable Passage. No, just a Ghost Quarter. I guess it is effective against my land enchantments. So I'm gonna lose a Mana Source and a Tamiyo here. And I'm not gonna have the 4 permanents required to necessarily win with Flood of Tears. I will not stand for such violence. So what can Tamiyo do for me? Plus again naming Flood of Tears. Or I can minus, but there's nothing amazing to get back. Yeah, I guess we keep uh, plusing here. Alright, there's Flood of Tears. So if they can destroy my land enchantment and kill Tamyo, I'm gonna be one permanent short of uh, comboing. Vraska is gonna destroy it instead, so... Another omen maybe sets it up for next turn. I guess we'll cast it now. So let's see, I have three, four. See, I'm not gonna be able to combo this turn. I guess I'll keep another omen as an extra permanence. 
Don't expect my opponent to have any discard effects. I guess they could have Fall of the Thran in their deck somewhere, which could be bad. Omen finds Grazer. Does Grazer do anything for me? Probably not. Alright, I'll pass the turn. And then hopefully nothing crazy happens. And then with all these omens that we can cast with Omniscience, we should be able to find a Fae of Wishes to win the game. Alright, get Rock Monster, nice. So we're gonna get to draw a lot of cards, but hopefully uh, that's about it. Take eight. And dig for that Fae of Wishes. There we go. And our opponent packs it in. Sweet. We're on the play. This hand's not amazing. Two omniscience, no flood of tears. Definitely prefer just drawing the flood of tears since at least it can still interact. Yeah, I think this is a mulligan. All right, this I can probably get behind. And then what to put on the bottom? Maybe the Gift of Paradise. Sure. And hope to scry into an untapped land so we can at least uh, play our two drop on curve. Harbor's not ideal. I could still keep it just to have a land drop. But between all the scries from temples and omens, we should be able to find lands. Oh, I'll keep a forest. And then next turn I can go Mindstone into Omen. Make use of that artifact mana right away. And then we're looking for Flood of Tears mostly. Opponent on some sort of Sultai deck. Don't need those. Could always use the Fae of Wishes to get some sideboard card here. But, uh... Let's pay the two life in case I draw another Omen. Could also cast Omen main phase. Although could be... Better to wait, we'll see. Roots, okay. So probably playing Field of the Dead, which we don't mind. Tamiyo is a good one. And then I could sack Mindstone. And just plus naming Flood of Tears. And between Omen and an extra Tamiyo activation, we should get there next turn. Unless they can significantly disrupt us. There's Fields, makes the first zombie. And Golos gets another one. That's fine. That's the advantage of not playing any mana creatures, as our opponent probably plays a bunch of sweeper effects, but we don't care about them too much.
and there's the Flood of Tears. Anything I want to get back with time your firsts. I have learned much from my ancestors. All right, and our opponent packs it in. So we got to see a nice variety of matchups overall. I'm very happy with uh, how the games played out and we got to see some nice games against aggro decks as well where we got to search up our copy of Root Snare out of the sideboard, although we were under a little bit too much pressure and weren't quite able to stabilize and win that game. But uh, I've definitely won a few games against Tempered Steel in similar fashion where we Root Snare a bunch of times while plusing Tamiya while drawing cards to set up the combo until we're ready to go. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.